All right, since we're on the subject of steel sense, let's blabber a little bit about some of the spots that people see on steel sense. Okay, so everybody look at about the 10 o'clock location on this particular coin right here, and you'll see nothing other than a fingerprint. Yep, that's what that is. But what about this line? that runs from about the three o'clock position all the way down to about the six o'clock position that literally looks like it fits another coin. Does anybody know what causes that? Here, let me show you something. It's exactly the perfect size and shape of another coin. So what would cause that? Well, simply put, there are all sorts of different lubricants and things like that that were used at the mint when they produced uh, coins. They still use it today. It's to keep everything sliding, whether it be silicone or other things, so that they slide through the presses. And they tended to use a lubricant that was a clear lubricant that was supposed to not tarnish the coins. Um, but... What essentially happened is they got on some of the coins, the coins went down into the hopper, this coin laid on top of that coin, and some of the lubricant on the top coin transferred right to this coin. That's what causes that. All right, so now let's talk about this coin. Hard to see. Let me pull it down here a little bit. But if you look real close, you see some of these white spots, okay? Like right behind his shoulder or on his lapel. There's a huge one right on his ear, all right? Now, those are what are called milk spots. You don't see them in certain angles. Now that I've pointed them out, you'll see them 100%. There's a way to actually kind of make those sort of disappear a little bit with the right kind of photography uh and lighting but those milk spots are kind of the same thing they're moisture related um probably not lubricant related but more or less moisture related and just coins getting some moisture that con condenses on the surface of the coin all right so let's take a look at this last coin here and so what the heck is that right well take a really, really close look at it over by the T of scent. And you will notice that if I were to turn a Lincoln scent on its rim and roll it across this coin, you got lubricant from the rim on the top obverse and on the bottom reverse that basically transferred to this coin. So there was a coin that fell down into the hopper after it had been made, probably hit this coin or another coin next to it and rolled across this coin, therefore transferring that lubricant to the coin and creating this little mess on the back. So there you go.